Moss mit seiner Band Musik. Hier ist Steve Moss zum Interview. Zum erste Mal. Uh, we're happy to have you back after 1984. It's 1990 today. Um, Yes, you changed your members with the band. I mean, the Steve Morse band in 1984 was different from that what we saw. Yes, now we have Dave LaRue on bass guitar, Van Romaine on drums. Of course, I'm the same, and the music uh, comes from the same place. <laughs> Directly from your heart. Yeah. <laughs> er hat klassische Gitarre studiert, er mag Johann Sebastian Bach. Wer sich ein bisschen mit Steve Morse beschäftigt hat, der wird das wissen. Äh, was viele vielleicht nicht wissen, dass er sich extra eine Gitarre hat äh, bauen lassen die ein bisschen kleiner ist als andere Gitarren. Es ist Special Design Steve Morse Gitarre. Uh, for what reason? I mean, why did you do it? Well, just to have a guitar that I could uh, replace. <laughs> I started just put everything that I wanted on a list, and this is what we came up with. We worked together and made it shorter to fit in overhead compartments easier and balance better, and it's uh, just a little bit better made than my old guitar. You know, it's, uh, like I said, it's very clean and well designed, that's all. Ein schönes, ein schönes Design, das hat er nun selber gemacht, hat aber auch einen ganz praktischen Effekt. Er kann diese Gitarre zum Beispiel in Flugzeugen oben in die Gepäckablage, in die Handgepäckablage tun. Das mögen viele Gitarristen und viele sind sehr traurig, dass ihre Gitarren da nicht reinpassen, denn die müssen dann in den, kalten, in den kalten Lagerraum. Eine andere Geschichte in diesem Zusammenhang, wenn wir schon über das Fliegen sprechen. Steve Morse ist, was vermutlich auch die wenigsten wissen, ein professioneller Pilot. You are a professional co-pilot. I mean, you worked professionally as a, as a co-pilot in the States. Yes, with my group, the Dregs and also Steve Morse Band, I flew the band around for many years and I had lots of good experience and uh, got the ratings necessary and of course the education that you need to get the job. And I always thought it was a great job and I wanted to see what it was like and I did it for five months. But then uh, I resigned when I realized I would never be able to play a tour again because of the scheduling. So I had to resign and come back to music. <laughs> Er hat als Hobbypilot schon seine Band, damals die Dixie Drags, später dann die Drags, durch die Weltgeschichte geflogen und hat da sehr viel Spaß dran gehabt. Und dann hat er tatsächlich bei einer kleinen amerikanischen Fluggesellschaft einen Job bekommen als Co-Pilot, musste dann aber sehr schnell feststellen, dass er keine Zeit mehr zum Musik machen hatte. Und Gott sei Dank hat er dann wieder angefangen, Gitarre zu spielen. Ich glaube, uh, we like it more when you play guitar than you fly around in the United States. I mean, let's take it that way. Uh, das erste Album der Dixie Drags ist auf eine ganz merkwürdige Weise entstanden. First Dixie Drags Album, yes, quite unnormal how you, how you produced and, and recorded it. It was at university. Yes, every graduating senior from the university was to get some uh, recording time during their last performance. They would record it with a 24-track. Instead of doing it during the performance, we did it at night with the band coming in after hours. And in two nights, we recorded an album. And I printed up a thousand records and sold a few and then mailed the rest to the record companies. And we finally got a record deal from the major record company. Somebody had stolen the keys, that true? Not stolen. They just used the keys to get in. Die Geschichte ist folgende gewesen, an der Universität, wo Steve Morse studiert hat, bekam jeder Musiker, der an eben so. So, wir sollten zum Schluss kommen, ich bekomme 1000 Zeichen, aber eine Frage noch ganz schnell zum Abschluss. Uh, is it true you've been inspired in the early 70s by the Mahavishnu Orchestra, John McLaughlin, is that true? Yes, yeah, so I was in, uh, in the cafeteria where we ate, he came and played with his band and it, everybody there had gone to many rock concerts and they were, as far as I knew, it was a rock crowd. They were, they were blown away by his band. They didn't know that it was jazz and that they weren't supposed to like it. They just enjoyed the sound. And it inspired me. I said, I can do something like this, but different. In der Cafeteria hat you. Der nächste Titel von Steve Morse und wir bedanken uns für dieses Interview. Thank you very much. Prost. So what also Steve Morse mit seiner Band. Ein sehr vielseitiger Mann. Vielleicht kennen ihn einige auch noch von der Gruppe Kansas. Da hat er auch mitgespielt. 